is up, beautiful? How you doing? So, today, I'm about to watch my worst nightmare happen three times with three different videos, three very interesting blonde, red, stuff that has to do with blonde going, red going blonde, blonde going red, red to blonde ombre. A lot of things are going on in today's video and it's very juicy. And let me just tell you a, a quick story. I know you guys hate intros and you hate when I talk a lot and you just probably hate me in general, but that's fine. Um, thank you for being here anyways and putting up with me. I'm very much appreciated. So I have this friend, her name's Megan. She um, kind of tortured me when I was younger. I, I would spend about 20 hours making her blonde because she has like this much hair on her head, like in a ponytail, it looks like this much. And so I would completely make her hair platinum blonde and then she would always be like, oh, you'd be such a good idea today, Brad, to make me red. And I'd be like, oh, hell. No, let's not do it. And then she would go and do it herself. Then guess who would have to fix it? Just take one little guess who would have to fix it after. Me, it was always me, you guys. I don't know, it's weird. Like people that are blonde just like think they should go red for some reason. And then when they go red, they're like, I hate everything about this. And I wanna go blonde again. And you're like, <laughs> good luck. And I'm not doing it. <laughs> now that I got that off my chest, I feel a little bit better. Like I said before, I have three videos to watch with you guys. They're all very transformative and juicy. And I, Ready to get it started. Let's do it. Okay. And our first video is by Gabby Warwick and it's called How I Went From Red to Blonde Hair Transformation Part Three. Okay, let's watch it. Oh, we had a recap. Thank God. Thank you, Gabby. So, okay. I am going to try to Picking my nose get here. color out okay, of right. my hair. I am going to try the dish soap and vitamin C tablets version. So I made a little concoction here. Okay, so we're starting off with like a sort of a pinkish red moment going on. It's not like super dark. It doesn't seem like the most impossible thing in the world. It doesn't seem like the most possible thing in the world either. But I'm very excited to see how much she can lift this red out of her hair and see if she can really get like platinum blonde because I'm really excited for that. I hope she can. I've never All done right. this vitamin C thing before. I just don't really Not understand it, it fully. For a while. It has been 30 minutes, so we are gonna rinse it out and hope looks red as hell. The best. So it is the next day, and this is my hair after we did the um, little wash thing with the soap and vitamin C tablets. I think what I've decided is that doesn't look a whole lot different to me, Gabby. Doesn't look like it did much. I've honestly watched a lot of people do the vitamin C thing, and I feel like it doesn't really do anything, but. Again, that's just me. A lot of people swear by it, but like, it just ain't my thing. Don't knock until you try it, right? But like, <laughs> knock, knock. And I haven't tried it. Oh, so funny. The solution for the process that we're gonna be using is a bleach bath. I'm gonna Oh, I love bleach baths. So ugly for so long. Uh, it's okay, it's fine. And remove that top layer of color from the it hair. It's been 20 minutes and that is a, a lot of the color is deeper in the hair follicle, so you're not really gonna get a lot, a lot of lift off a bleach wash, um, unless the color just didn't penetrate your hair cuticle. Typically the color is in the cuticle, so when you do a bleach rinse, it's really just getting that top layer of color off, but it does lighten it a lot, and it lightens it very quickly, so that's a very effective way of getting color off, out of <laughs> getting color out of your hair, and I use it all the time on clients. It's kind of what our first week oh! actually is. See, it looks good. Yo, so, that lifted a lot. Like, okay, Gabby. It took all my highlights to this nice, like, blondish, red, reddish color. My roots are. Well, the roots didn't lift because it's the healthiest part of her hair, and the red color molecules have a lot of stuff to grip onto, a lot of healthy, nice hair. So it's not just gonna come right out like it did on the poorest parts of your hair. Okay, my mixture is ready. I'm gonna go apply and be back shortly. So here's what's going on. Oh, Here's we're getting lighter. Everything's lightening up really, really nice. Like I've got some really light bits out here. Yes, let's finish uh, this, Gabby. So for this round of bleaching, bleach wash, whatever, I'm not gonna bore you with a bunch of chitter chatter. I will tell you what I'm gonna do, and you can just watch. The last. So I'm going to do all the dark undersides. Uh -huh. I'm putting bleach directly on them. Oh. Mix up my bleach, wa bleach wash. I'm going to apply it to this dark section okay. here. Okay. And then I will, once that's done, I'll probably wait 10 minutes and then 
apply the bleach wash everywhere so these can keep lightening. But that's the plan. Let's do it. Yo, she's being very thorough. I'm very impressed with her application process. It's going great. Gabby is doing amazing. Oh! Um, I decided to go ahead and put the bleach directly on yes. the section of hair up here, and it worked really great. Like, it's see? a ton. You can still see the difference. It's like not a cute color. <laughs> it's not the but worst color I've ever seen. getting close. Okay, so now this is like the third I think process she's done already and she's gonna I think she's gonna do it a lot more um, And she is committed to this come on Gabby. We love a committed girl like yes I would say that was the most successful of them all <laughs> This is what we've got going on I would say we are Pretty much there I am hoping <laughs> that I only have to do the bleaching one more time <laughs> We're gonna hit the roots next time because we still have all hit the roots. Ah! Going on, which is You're gonna hit the roots, kind of Jack, and don't you come so, back no more, no more. So she's going in once again on that hair with more bleach, and I mean, I think that she's using a very low developer because she's done this so many times, and her hair is not falling off and it doesn't look that damaged or damaged at all. Okay, it looks like. Um, nearly the same. Not all the way white. But wow, um, her hair is so white. If you go slow with bleach and not do what I did there at the end, you get totally fried and damaged hair. See that? Gabby, I have the perfect product for you. Oh my god, I'm so glad you asked me what it, what it was. Oh my god, it's Glitterati by Ex Mondo. It's my own product. You guys, when you want it, you can got it. Shop below. <laughs> One to two. So it's one of the two. I don't know what this is. T28? It said to use 20, but I think I'm going to use 10. Just because I can't see what that said. So badly damaged. Good so, idea, girl. Let's try that. Good idea. Using permanent color is kind of iffy. I would have you I would have rather her use just like a conditioning toner um because her hair is already damaged and very porous and blonde she didn't need that heavy wella toner on top of this hair but it'll probably work anyways guys here is it's a bun that toner works so good yes toner so it's not completely white like i wanted it to get so that was probably a poor expectation to have so it's Correct. the lightest <laughs> I want at the top. Girl, honestly. you did a really good job for an at-home color. Um, and then the rest is just like kind of regular blonde, which is gonna have to do. Oh, Gabby, that was actually, you did kind of a great job. Pro maybe not being a professional, I don't know if she is or not, but she honestly kind of slayed that. Knew what she was working with and did a really nice job. Um, it wasn't like perfect. It could have used a little bit of work at the end, but I'm very happy for her. And her hair looks her hair looks nice. Great job, Gabby. Great job. And why don't we move on to something a little less great? So this one is called Red to Bl to Blonde Ombre Tutorial. To me, that sounds terrible. Um, this is by Renee Elizabeth. Why don't we watch her video and see what happens? <laughs> and I'm using. Wella 7R, okay, okay, which would probably show up as like a 6R or 5R on her hair because it's so porous from the blonde. 30 volume and any kind of bright red hair dye. Oh, first thing I'm doing is a little splat, okay, and tease by the roots because that's where I'm gonna put the color first. And by teasing it, it's gonna kind of you know mess up the hairs and make sure that the color doesn't come out. A straight line it's gonna help blend it together <laughs> oh, I'm sorry Renee I'm about to come for you girl <laughs> <coughs> Renee that's not how it works baby cake mm -mm. we don't tease the hair and then put color over the tease sections we tease the hair and color the ends that way when you comb the hair out you have all different variations of color going through but you don't tease the hair into a a nest and then put color over the knots. 
because that's you're just gonna get spotting everywhere and it's just gonna be a mess. Great technique, wrong execution on this one. Darkest color. And then putting and the splat in with that it. red so that it still has like that bright red to it. And I'm gonna use the volume 10 with that. Depending on how much hair you have and how far what? you want this dark color to go down depends on how much hair color you're gonna need. What was that? What was that? We put 7R and mixed it with splat for some odd reason. And then used the 10 volume and then she did something else. Okay. When you start off, you want to make sure that you're really saturating oh, baby girl. the top of oh, the hair. Oh, that is so spots. red. And you want to kind of just feather it down so that it blends and that you're not making a line. Here's me doing the back without looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe you should so look next time. The next layer, which is basically the same thing I did on the first layer, except I'm feathering it even more and more down. Because I kind of think it would be pretty to have the red running a little bit down. So the next color I'm going to do. Am I being pranked? Like, is this like a prank video? Did she make this red. to troll me? What is going on right now? Point now. Why are we teasing your hair before? Putting this damn red on. What is going on? So now it's turning kind of dark. Like that dark burgundy is starting to show. No. And so now I'm gonna wash Feather out your wash life away, honey. Hair, and I'm back, back, back. And that's how it turned out for the first one. And now I'm taking that pumpkin <laughs> color. Are back. we? Are we not gonna talk about this? Renee, are we gonna just skip right over that as if it didn't happen? I want to know what's happening right now because something is wrong with your hair and I know I'm not the only one who sees it, Renee. This is what happens when you put knots in your hair and then put color over it. That ain't it. Okay, she took that pumpkin color that looks black on camera and then two seconds later, it's gone. Oh no, she's teasing it again! Renee, stop! Oh my god, now we're reaching the end. And we're gonna really tease. Really, really tease. And it doesn't look like I teased a lot because my hair was. Maybe this will save it. And we're just gonna do the same thing with the bleach, but on the bottom. You're just gonna feather it in and really saturate the ends. And my camera died at this point, so I didn't really get to show me much of doing the bleach. But here's the finished result. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <sighs>
will be on the first day. Yes. You'll have to touch up your hair about yeah. every couple weeks or so, um, which isn't too bad. I think what I'm going to do to maintain that is use a coloring, and instead of using a developer to lift my hair, I'm just going to deposit colors. Maybe just do a conditioner or something. I'll do a little bit of research on that. Um, yes! She knows exactly what she's talking about. Listen to all of you guys out there who are using permanent color over and over and over again. It's not necessary. If you want to just revamp your color that you already have in your hair and you don't want to lift anything, you don't, you're not trying to like fix any roots, um, you're trying to like deposit more of that red tone in your hair, just use a permanent color. You don't need to do permanent color or permanent color or permanent color. Actually, you should definitely not do that because your hair will definitely be damaged. Um, but she's not, she's saying it. She's like, listen, you're gonna have to color your hair over and over again to keep that red molecule in your hair. It tends to slip out very easily out of porous light hair and it's very hard to keep your hair red. It is one of those colors that needs to be done over and over and over again in order to really stick in your hair because you're just gonna keep on getting rid of that red when you wash it and the sun's gonna naturally bleach it out. So you're not gonna be able to keep that red in your hair that long without it fading. It's just how color works. But it's also the fun part about color because then you get to change it all the time without um, being too committed to it, you know? So I will check back in. Ah! It looks so good. Ooh, she is giving us looks. <gasps> Babe. Uh, oh my god. Who is that? Who is she? <laughs> she honestly looks way better with red hair. Like, it suits her so much more. It brings out her skin, makes her look very fresh and young and vibrant and healthy and glowy and fun and sexy and glowy and vibrant and fun. Well, yeah, these girls, they nailed it today. I'm very happy for them and their hair looks dope, except for that one in the middle that we watched, but we're not gonna talk about that one anymore. All right, it's in the past. And I'm sorry if you're watching, girl. Listen, go to a professional next time, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. That is all for today. If you guys would like to purchase Glitterati, like I said, like I mentioned before, it is linked below. And thank you for all your support on Glitterati. Follow me on Instagram, follow XMono on Instagram for updates. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you.